How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new video of my brand new name Quantum Visuals and today I'll show you how to make my orange teal preset. I called it contrast teal and orange just to be different and here's a sample photo unedited and now with a preset. As you can see, it's fucking out. But how the fuck did I do that? Okay, let's find out. Let's also see what's my workflow with Lightroom like. So I like to edit my photos at the end. I start with the camera calibration. I like the reds. So I bump them up. To 60 and turn down the saturation by 15. Greens, bump up the greens up to 30 and increase the saturation by 10 in the blues. Of course, if you want the teal look, you gotta bump down the blues about to 60 and increase the saturation by 10 also as you can see you can start to see the origin till look to start to setting up but we're not finished yet then I of course level up my photo yeah little group grain and vignetting you can use at your own will Normally I use minus 10, that's enough for me. That subtle difference makes the, the cake for me, you know. Then start over the beginning. I like my photos to be really blue and really cool. So I just put down by 5 the temperature. Then this part of the editing is depending on all your photo. Normally I increase the contrast to like 20, maybe 30. Yeah. In this case, these highlights are blown out, so I will drop them down 50. The shadows, are, I always boost up the shadows. Like 45, 35, yeah. The whites, it depends on the photo. In this case, I'll bump it down to 30. The plaques, I always, always bring them down. And that brings us to the next part of the, my workflow. That's the tone curve. I did not forget about that. We'll come back there in a minute. I like to do my tone curves first or early so my photo gets washed out and I can calibrate the colors correctly. Of course, increase the blacks about that. Then the whites, but bring down the middle, middle tones. Just about that. Yeah, that looks good. Then go back up to the clarity and always increase the clarity, at least for me. The photos that I decrease the clarity are pretty rare. I like to use this trick. Bump down the vibrance up to 80 and decrease the saturation or 69 yeah you can already see the, the really dramatic look then this is the crazy part when I made the presets I spent a lot of time fine-tuning the HSL sliders so I just, I'll just make them again and I'll explain later. So yeah, 
video is uh, HSL sliders. You can stop the video and copy it. Now, my main focus in editing these sliders was to bring up the blues, maybe enhance the oranges and reds a little bit. Of course, in this first one, make the reds more orange and the orange more red, so I get this really nice contrast between the oranges and the blues. That's the point of orange and teal. Then I bring up the blues in the saturation. I also shift a little bit of the blues more to the greens. The yellow is the same thing, just bring them down to the oranges. About the luminous, just make the oranges and reds more brighter so it gets more pleasing to the eye and not have that crazy contrast between stuff. And the blues also to make them brighter, to make more of an uplifting photo. Now, about the sharpening, it depends on the camera, the setup, everything. Normally increase about 20 to 30 maybe. Noise reduction, don't use that. The grain, you can use, you can use the grain. One little tip, increase the grain and bring even more down the saturation and the temperature and increase the contrast and you get a little bit more dramatic look. You can do that but that's not what I usually do. And yeah, that's it, that's how I make my orange teal presets. You can download it for free in the description or follow along the video and make it yourself. I advise you to do that so you learn in the process. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also don't forget to check out my Instagram profile, I'll leave it in the description. And yeah, see you next time.